Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation and I hope you enjoy this solution. Because on the first side this is a very easy question, we have x, we have x, we have like not, no huge numbers, we have 5 and 3, so which is not a huge number, we can easily solve it. But we need to know a really important steps right here, this is not like an easy question, because we need to know uh, 3 main steps and I'm going to show you this step here in just 5 minutes and I hope you will enjoy it. First of all I want to start with this uh, explanation that right here we have powers, we have 3, we have x in our as a variable in a power, so which is not good. Let's try to apply natural log, let's try to on both sides. So we have like natural log x cube on the left hand side and we need to do this the same thing on the right hand side, because we need nothing changed, so which is really important. Yeah, just take natural log on both sides, which is really great. Right now, if you know a little bit about natural log or log as a main uh, function right here, so this 3 jump right here and this 5 jump right here, because this is a main log property and that's why we applied natural log. Because we don't need it as a power, so we just have it right here as a product, so we have 3 times natural log x equal to x times natural log 5, yeah? So this is our first step and I hope you I hope you understand this, which is really important. Right now, if we look closely, we have a constant, we have a variable right here, we have a variable, we have a constant. So let's try to group our variables, for example, on the left-hand side and our constant on the right-hand side. And for this, let's divide both sides, for example, by 3 as the first time. So let's divide by 3. From here, we can easily cancel this. We have like natural log x equal to x times natural log 5 and over over 3. Yeah, we just divide both side by 3, so nothing, nothing hard for us. And the second step, we have this x right here, but this is our constant part on the right-hand side. Let's try to divide both side by this x. If we divide both side by this x, we have like natural log x over x equal to natural log 5 over 3. Yeah, we have a constant on the right, we have a variables on the left. And on the first side, we can easily solve it by, uh, for example, cross multiplying, but it, this is very hard because we have like x in our natural log and x as a variable in our denominator, which is really hard to solve. And for this explanation, it's really good to know about Lambert W function, because if you know about Lambert W function, you can solve it in like 30 seconds. And I want to show this explanation about Lambert W function for those who like don't like it, who don't know, who don't understand it, very in simply words, yeah? For example, imagine you have like for expression like a times e to the power a. Just imagine you have expression something like that, where e is whatever you want expression, doesn't matter. But you need to have e. And if you have this expression, you can easily apply the Lambert W function, and from this expression, you can easily write that this expression with Lambert W function equal to e. So as you can see, the same e as right here, and the same e as a as, as right here, yeah? So, just imagine you have this expression, and if you apply Lambert W function, this is equal to a. Okay, okay, and let's go to our expression right here. We have natural log x, I write it, natural log x over x equal to natural log 5 over 3. So as you can see, for this expression we need e. Right here we don't have e, but we can easily create this e or just write this x in another way. So let's write this x in our denominator, so this one, this one, as e to the power natural log x, yeah? Equal to natural log 5 over over 3. Okay, I hope you understand this step. I just take my red pen real quick. I just want you to understand closely to this uh, explanation. So this x, this is the same as e to the power natural log x. And right now we have this e right here and we need this to create Lambert W function, which is really important part because we need this e. And let's bring this e to the power natural log x to our numerator because we need to have it, we don't have it here, our denominator. So let's write it as natural log x so the same expression as right here, and this e, write it as e to the power, not natural log x, because we bring e to our denominator to numerator, let's write it as minus natural log x, not we, we need to write it, we, we need to write it like that, yeah? Equal to natural log 5 over over 3. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. We just create this e from this x and we bring it to our numerator. So nothing hard. But for now, if we look closely, we need to have like the same expression. So this one, because we have a times e to the power a, we need to have this expression and this in a power, we need to have the same. But right here we have this minus. What can we do with this? We need to multiply by minus 1. If you multiply by minus 1, I just take my red pen real quick. So we have like minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x 
equal to natural log 5 over 3, but with the minus sign, yeah? Which is really important because we multiplying both sides by minus 1. Right now, really important step because we need to know about lambda w function and I write this lambda w function right here on the bottom. So lambda w function from this expression a times e to the power a and look closely, look closely to this to this expression because we have like a and we have minus natural log x, we have our e and we have our a right here. So this is our classic lambda w function case so we can easily apply this expression as lambda w function and of course apply it on the right hand side because we need to do this on the both side okay okay this lambda w function equal to a as i wrote right here so equal to only our a and let's let's write it as a but in our case a equal to minus natural log x so we have like minus natural log x equal to lambda w function of this expression minus natural log 5 over over 3 Okay, so this is, it was our second important step our the after the first one with this natural log, second step is lambda w function. So we just go to the third step, we have natural log x, we have our constant on the on the right hand side, so we just need to, to go to the next step. How can we do this? How can we find right here our x? Let's take e, or let's write it as e to the power natural log x, to the power minus one, yeah? We bring this min uh, minus right here, so we just write it in this way. Equal to e to the power lambda w function of minus natural log five over over three, okay? So from this expression, we have this one, we just take e on both sides, yeah? And write it as this minus as x to the power minus one. And, and we need to know about natural log property, really important log, log property because we can easily cancel this expression, this is equal to 1 and we have only our x to the power minus 1, so we have like x to the power minus 1 equal to e to the power lambda w function, so the same right hand side, natural log 5 over, over 3. Okay, this is x, but it, this is x to the power minus 1, we need our x, how can we do this? Let's find it right here, so let's bring this to our denominator and using cross multiplying, this goes to our denominator, yeah? This goes to our numerator, this goes to our denominator using cross multiplying property, so x equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus natural log 5 over over 3, okay? We saw this interesting, interesting question. But what about the exact value? Because this is really interesting to find uh, the exact value of this solution. Yeah, so right here, this is our solution right here. But I want to show you a really important moment because if you find in our internet library this lambda w function of minus natural log 5 over 3, so this expression we needed to find it, yeah, we needed to find our x. If you plug in into like scientific or graphing calculator or like uh, lambda w function library right here, you will see that this lambda w function does not exist, yeah, so this have no, no, solu no point of intersection and we are not talking about real roots right here, so this lines does not intersect and we can easily say that right here we have no, no real, no real solutions no real solutions. Really bad because we I, I thought we will solve it, but we have like no real solution and doesn't, doesn't matter for us, let's let's draw a graph, let's try to look how, how this function looks like, because we have like x cube equal to 5 to the x, yeah? x cube, this is our cubic function right here, so this looks like that, something like that, for example, and 5 to the x, it looks like our exponential function, so it looks like, I guess, it looks like something like that, so doesn't matter, these lines does not intersect. So, as you can see, no real solution, and this function does not intersect, so we are not talking about about a common point of intersection and of course about solution, yeah? These lines does not intersect, no real solution, maybe complex one, I don't know, but we can easily solve it in a complex complex plane right here, but in real in real solution we don't have we don't have this uh, this roots right here, so which is which is which is good I guess, yeah, we solve this interesting question. Also I hope you understand this explanation, so three steps right here. First step, natural log, second step, lambda w function, and the third step, this is our e, this is our log property, 
So we we solved this question. Also, thank you for, for watching. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.